is always supposed to be here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashana here, back with a new video. Today we're going to be doing a foundation review. I'm going to be reviewing the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Sticks. They come out with foundation sticks. I was like, what? Stop playing with me. So I have the shade, like I did with the liquid. Um... I can't talk today. What I did with the liquid ColourPop No Filter Foundation, I had them color match me on their website. And me personally, I love that match. So I did the same thing with the foundation sticks. So I'm in the shade. I'm in the shade Dark 175W. I believe that's warm. And I got a contour shade as well, which is I have 197 Deep Dark. So we're gonna be trying these out. Um, I already tried them on off. Sorry, I already tried them off cam already, and I freaking love them. But I just want to show you guys how amazing, not how amazing, but how good they are. Cause you know the first try is always kind of good, but then you want to try them again. So we're gonna try them on camera, and I am gonna use instead of me using a beauty blender, cause it didn't really blend out the way I wanted it to. So today I'm gonna use a brush. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the real techniques brush, but first we're going to prime the face. So of course we're gonna use the Elf Oil Control Primer Mist. This is my fave. Now we're gonna do um you know we we're gonna definitely minimize these pores. I use the Elf Prep and Blur Stick. Y'all know the drill. Y'all should know the drill by now if you've been watching my videos. For the past couple of months, you should know the drill. So today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Booster Drops. And I believe this is in Sunkist. Yeah, Sunkist. So I'm going to just basically just put this all over my skin. Like all over. Make sure you get your neck. Go forehead. Around the forehead. Your nose. Yes, I can't imagine now and imagine then. She did begin imagine then. Okay. So now I'm going to basically use the booster drops because I want it to be like, um, not so hard to blend out. Like it was so annoying. So what I'm going to do is just put some booster drops and of course my skin is like changing because of the weather and these booster drops are bomb. So I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush. What kind of brush is this? It just says Real Techniques. I put the foundation brush. So I'm just going to basically blend that out. And it give me a little bit of moisture because my skin is like kind of dry. <laughs> She did it again, imagine them. And I also want you to let y'all guys know this has a lot of product in it. So, because I really wanted to get the Maybelline um, Superstay stick foundations, but I keep seeing the only thing that's stopping me is that it doesn't come with a lot of product in it. And me personally, I have a feeling that I'm gonna definitely like it. So I'm like, what's the point? If I got about two or three foundation sticks, they're 11 $12 a piece, like that doesn't even add up. So I was just like, you know what? <laughs> Never mind, and then ColourPop came out with these. I was like, oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Perfection. I need to take this ponytail out. <laughs> it's looking crusty, y'all. It was fun while it lasted, though. And I also purchased a new concealer, but I. Ooh. I have two new ones. I have my original shade is dark 46, so I ordered another dark 46, and I ordered, and I ordered a dark 44 because I don't know. I'm just into the under eye brightening, 
So I'm going to use dog 40, 46 first. And then we're going to top that off with some 44. These concealers are bomb. Six dollars. They blend out like a dream. Colourpop just been giving me life lately. I don't know what it is, but it's just been doing it for me. This is 44. See, it's not that lighter, but it gives a little bit of brightness. So that's a great thing. So I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. My black one, and we're going to just blend this out. I'm starving, honey. <laughs> foundation stick which is in 197 and deep dark let me just contour and this goes a long way so you do not have to be going off it's super I wanna say pigmented but <laughs> do can you say pigmented for foundation but these foundation sticks are super creamy um, let's see. I'm gonna go with another Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna just blend that out. You wanna blend your contour, cream contour up. Don't bring it down, just. Yeah. You wanna blend that up. under eye real quick and of course since we're using old color pop i'm going to use the color pop no filter powder and i have that in banana don't forget y'all to check out my no filter liquid foundation review in the description box and i'll have it pop up in the cards of course because i got y'all So now we're going to go in with my favorite contour palettes in the whole wide universe. It is going to be, I'm just going to set this contour, contour, I just, this, yeah, I'm just going to set the. Contour sticks, contour sticks, foundation sticks are bomb. They're super creamy, they're super hydrating and not drying. I just wish it was like a little bit like I think it's like I can't explain it. Like it's easy, it's not easy enough to blend out, I feel like, because usually I use a beauty blender with my foundations. I think beauty blenders are better. There are some good foundation brushes out there, definitely. But with a beauty blender, I'd rather use a beauty blender so when it doesn't, you know, blend out fast enough for me with a beauty blender, it's kind of a problem. But it's okay because the foundation is bomb. So, with that being said, I would just have to use a brush. And um, I suggest if you are, you want to use a beauty blender, I suggest that you use any um, oil. Like this one is from e.l.f. This is what, $6.00. You can use the Fasali or the NYX one, whatever you suit your needs. And I think it will blend out like a dream like it did on camera for me. 
as far as you know the concealers I already did concealers again if you want to see the no color pop no filter liquid foundation review that will be in the description box and I will pop it in the cards so that being said do I recommend this foundation yes I do because it is full coverage it can be full you can build it up to be full coverage as well as it is medium coverage so it's your preference I mean um it depends on what you're doing I guess me personally, sometimes I want to be natural, sometimes I don't. Most of the times I don't want to be natural because I don't wear makeup every day. So when I do make do wear makeup, it's like I got to go all off. I got to go all off. Like go hard or go home type of thing. That's just me. Um, If you want to what lashes I'm wearing. What am I wearing? I am wearing the Lash Kitty Times OMG Lashes in the Style Glam On. I do have a review on these lashes. They are bomb AF. I will have that in the description box as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you would like more product review videos, please let me know in the description box. If you missed my last video, which was my birthday, get ready with me. I will have the link in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell so you can notify every time I upload because I don't want y'all to miss nothing. Like, I don't want y'all to miss nothing. Like, nothing. And if you missed my previous product review, product review videos, all of that will be in the description box. So you don't have to do nothing. All you got to do is scroll down, get the clicking, and it's like, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video.